Hello, hello, and welcome to Essential Stencil Page. My name is Renee. So as you pop on, say hello. Hello back to all of you who are going to be watching live or in replay. We're glad you're here today. So um, today we're going to work on a, I'm calling it a porch leaner, a vertical sign, but I'm going to show you how I actually hang them. I'm, I'm going to show you that process towards the end. So, so again, my name's Renee, owner of Flip Flop Furnishings, custom sign and home decor artistry. And um, today I'm thinking spring. It's so spring in Michigan today. Although Michigan, um, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's shaped like a mitten. We're surrounded by water. It's supposed to be really windy here today. We often get strong winds. So I did some prep work. We're going to use a four foot piece of wood. I'm standing back here because I wanted to show you. And what I did with that is I wanted to put a, what I call a faux border on it. So it looks like it's framed up, right? And so I did do that in advance. I had to do that yesterday. Um, all I did, we're gonna use today a one by 12 by four foot piece of wood. That's what this is right here, okay? And that is, you can buy this wood. It's a it's a basic pine piece of wood. One by 12 by four foot piece of wood. I wanted a border on it. So what I did yesterday is I stained. You can use paint, you can use stain, anything you'd like. I stain the edges. I just, instead of doing the whole board, I just do around the edges. Then when it was dry this morning, you know, you wanna make sure it's nice and dry. Then I put tape over it. So that'll keep our border from getting anything on it and we'll have a nice border. Oh, thank you, uh, Diana. I had a great birthday. Thank you. Oh, I think you're talking to Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Happy birthday. We're fellow Aquarians. Our birthdays are, are close to each other. So happy birthday. So, oh, good to see everyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to use three sets of stencils. I'm thinking spring, okay? Um, and all these stencils, this birdhouse stencil isn't that awesome i've been dying to use it i've actually used it a couple times you may see paint on it this part of it is really cool isn't it so we're going to be using a birdhouse on our vertical board we are going to be using a set well let's show you this one this customizable customizable welcome porch sign okay we're going to be using that one and we're going to be using, hello, a springtime pack. Um, this one says, hello, spring. I'll show you those when we get those out. We're going to be using a couple pieces or a piece from that one. So we've got um, three sets of stencils we're going to combine to make one project. Um, and what will happen is you will uh, be able to find links to what I'm using today, the stencils, essential stencil brushes and the stencils right above the video here today. So um, in the description of this video, and there are links on the bottom, I'm pretty sure links, yeah, that you can go right to them, but watch the live. And then if it's something you want, many of you ordered the birdhouse, I'll bet already in the pre-order. So you can still order this one. So let's point you down and let's get going. And let's start stenciling, right? That's what we're here for today. So I can see the angle. I can see if you can see what we're doing. So let's move these stencils out of the way because before we stencil, we're actually going to put this board. Now I have you angled probably at an odd angle, but we're just gonna start. I'm gonna keep you right in the camera and we're gonna go right down the board and I will definitely slide it down as I'm creating so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. We're gonna cover up whatever isn't taped down. So again, to prep it, I purchased the wood at, at, at a lumber yard or any you know big uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever they sell wood, any lumber yard. I sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper and we're gonna cover up 
the uh, open area here with this really cool blue. It's a um, fusion mineral paint brand. It's called Heirloom. I kind of looked at it as a robin's egg type color, a blue, you know, pretty blue. So I thought today that's what we're going to use. And then to stencil with, we're just using two colors, black and white. So I'm going to show you how you can just use a few colors and really get a great look. So I have a brush. Any brush that you have to cover larger surfaces is fine to use. I happen to be using a Klingon S50 today. It's just a brush I've had. I like to get it damp a little bit. Some water here on my board. And let's start covering it so that we can start stenciling, right? So you can just go right over your tape. So having the tape there um, just means I don't have to think hard. I don't have to do any. All I have to do is paint. And what's going to happen also is then it gives me where I'm going to put my stencils and, you know, it'll keep it from going on the border. I want, I want a clean, nice border on this. So that's how I do it. You can also paint the entire board and then, um, you know, tape it off where you want your border. But to me, this was just the easiest, or is the easiest way for me, is just get that tape on it after you've added the border. So welcome, welcome. And be sure to share this out. I've got my, my um, hearts and shares little piece here that tells you, um, we love it when you do that, when you share and when you send hearts, it gets it out in the Facebook algorithm. And I put my code up here, save 10 friends. So that'll save you 10% on any essential stencil products anytime. And let's just keep moving down the board and get that. Isn't that a pretty blue color? So that's the color. So I, I said we're going to use black, white, and then a pop of color. This is it. This is the pop of color. Just getting my surface on. And um, where can I find fusion mineral paint? So by the way, I have yet to try it. So you can find fusion mineral paint. Actually, one of the Essential Sense Ambassadors, Sharon, she's live every Wednesday. She um, she has a link. There's a link somewhere that you can look at um, or go to Sharon's uh, Facebook page. And she has a link where you can purchase it, even though she's in us or out of the country. I'm not sure Australia, I think. She does have a link for you to purchase it, but also you can just go to Fusion Merrill Paint dot com and find a retailer near you so if you just google them you can find a retailer yes many retailers of paint ship the reason i like fusion mineral paint is i used it when i was um doing fur more furniture and it has a built-in top coat i love that about it Let's just keep moving down the board. It's only four feet of wood, so it doesn't take you too long to get that base coat on. And when that dries, we'll see if we need another one, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to be good. It's uh, a medium color, so it really is good coverage. There, That's another thing I like about this paint, but you can use any paint, any paint. Um, this again has a built-in top coat. It's, it's kind of advertised as a furniture paint, but when I started doing more canvas work and sign making, just kind of worked out that this is what I had and I love it for this purpose. So let's start drying. Wood is infamous for having uh, knots in their wood, which are pretty. I love them when they show through. I like the imperfections. But if this is something you'll be hanging out in direct sunlight, the sun will just cause those knots to bleed. Um, you know, pine sap is, is what they'll bleed. <coughs> Excuse me. So part of my process 
most of the time, especially if I'm doing a light background, is to add something that seals that sap from coming through. So, Dixie Belle Boss, I put two coats of that on, it's clear, so you can still see the knots, because I also love when you can see the knots through the wood and the, you know, the pretty wood. So you can use this, I'll put it right here so you can maybe screenshot it. It's a Dixie Belle product. Uh, other people I'm sure on here will suggest some other things that they use, but I also use Artisan Enhancements Clear Top Coat. It's an interior exterior sealer and it does uh, block tannins and um, bleed of knots. So it's kind of a great product, I'm almost out of it. So yes, you can do that. Um, it's a, it just depends on the style of the wood too or what you're making, if you're okay with them bleeding through. Some of them don't at all, some of them do. It's kind of a, you're never quite sure. So if I'm making it for someone, I try really hard. See how you can still see the wood grain through there? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but. I like that. I actually like that look a lot. And I'm not going to put a second coat on because I'm liking that look. I like the look of the knots or any wood imperfection. Here's a knot here. But because I put a sealer on it, it at least won't bleed if I put this outside. And today I'm calling this, I said it indoor outdoor. Um, I do love to hang these in my home too. This one says welcome, so it'd be a great one. Hi, Nancy, welcome. Yeah, there's nothing like a good wood grain, right? That's why uh, staining with paint or stain is also nice. So this feels nice and dry. That's how fast. Isn't that gorgeous blue color? And again, any paint brand sells so many different colors. But I'll close this up and tip it up and show you that this is just what I use because it's what I have, but it's called Heirloom, and it, it spoke spring to me. So that's why I wanted to use that. And it also is a nice medium color, so you'll see when we stencil, the white and the black will show up really nice on this. All right, this is our top. And on the top, this is where the stenciling funnel begin. So I'm gonna put my blue brush here, just in case I need it again. But you see how fast it was to just get that coated with some paint. And again, I kind of like, it's it's not a total coverage. I can still see an area, some of the wood grain, and I like that. I like that a lot. But, you know, depending on the color, again, medium colors seem to, they tend to cover better, a medium color. So we're going to stencil now. I am going to grab um the birdhouse stencil first now this one may look complicated to you see how the pretty design they did on there but we're actually doing just a simpler version of it um, again this is a 12 by 12 birdhouse it has two pieces to it it has the birdhouse it also has a heart and a window that you can add to it. So what we're going to do is put the birdhouse on in white. Now they, um, what I'm doing, see that tape under there? I'm actually moving it over a little bit because I want the house, okay, I gotta move it down too because I have tape here. So I want, I want this to show but I also want it so that all these side ones show up, but it's, so this part right here won't show up, but I'm okay with that. You'll see when we remove the tape, I still want it on here and I want it on the top, but I want all this that moves up to show up. This will show up and then just a little here. So I didn't put it right in the middle. I moved it just a little bit. And then let's tape this down. I've got tons of uh, frog tape 
um, on my table here. We're gonna you're gonna see a lot of reused frog tape today. Oh, the the board I purchased the board width is 12 inches. What that means the board inch is 12. That's how they sell it, but it's about 11 and a quarter in actuality. So because that's why I always get the 12 inch boards when I do any type of vertical sign because I have a lot more to play with. If you get 10 inch, you just have two less inches, right? And that's okay, but I like to have as much room as I can to play on my wood. But they, the, the store sell it by board feet or board inches or whatever. Um, so you always get, if you take your tape measure to the store, you'll see after they've planed it and such, it's 11 and a quarter inches. All right, so we're gonna start with white, just good old white paint. This is called casement, but it's just a white paint. We're gonna put some out and we are gonna start stenciling. I think I'll move that down just a little more. I'm seeing I'm a little out of the camera. You can see that, right? Awesome. Yeah, the 12 inch I just find are um, just better for me because I like to have lots of room to create on. So the brushes, essential stencil brushes, great for stenciling with. That's what they're made for. You get a set. Um, when you order them, you can order them in a set of four. I have a link above in the description of this live. So you get a seven eighths inch, a nice big one, three quarter inch, five eighths, and a half inch. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm so sorry. I may be coughing today. I've got I don't know, some kind of allergies or something going on. And I've been coughing for, I think, a month. <laughs> this weird winter that we're having. So I just put my white paint out, work it into that brush, and dry it off at the same time, even my edges, so that I have a nice dry brush. Oh, good. Uh, Ella got two sets of brushes. Yes, you got to have plenty of brushes. So now that we have that on our brush, this on this stencil is very delicate. You may not see it, but I have like some orange paint on it because I was using it and to wash it, you have to be really careful. But let's just start up here on the roof and twirl our brush around and the whole thing is gonna be white. It's kind of our background but it'll show up real nice on this color too. So I've got our roof. Now I'm gonna hold the section here and go up the sides, across the side, because we may not fill it totally in. And then we're gonna bring our brush and again, because the brush, even though the brush looked dry, see all that paint coming out? and I'm barely pressing down. We're gonna go down here towards the bottom. And now we're gonna hold these little pieces down. They're very thin and very fragile. You can even do this at this point because it won't move those intricate little pieces. I'm gonna put a little more paint on my brush so I dip it in. So let's start doing this again here. So tap, tap, tap. And notice when I'm stenciling my brush is just straight up and down. I don't you know, do it sideways. You straight up and down, whether I'm tapping or swirling. And so that way I'm getting it into those teeny tiny areas. Okay, and then I'm gonna swirl real light We'll just fade that into the middle. I kind of want a little of that blue to show. So I'm not going all the way into it, but I also want those parts to show. So now I'm gonna dip my brush back in the paint. Yeah, so this is one way of using the stencil. I'm just using it. I'm not making um, the house, you can, stencil it and then go back, take the stencil off and define the house in another color if you look at the package, but you don't have to do it that way. 
Um, here's just another option for you. Again, I just want it simple. Okay, I've offloaded my paint. I'm going back up here and adding some very lightly. And I'm just going to have the flowers, the leaves, everything is going to be in white. Again, we'll just use black and white today. But you can go right in and fill in the flowers a different color. Um, I'm sure you've seen, uh, if you go to Essential Stencil, they may have some uh, tutorials already on this. Um, I'm trying to think back of who may have done one using color on it. All right. So I'm feeling like this is pretty good. Um, I'm thinking up here I'll give it a second coat. Again, I'm not reloading my brush because I don't need paint in it. But see how I was able to swirl this brush around? Even the large size does fine on the small areas. I don't, you know, as long as you're just swirling it around. Um, I don't really have a problem with the size of brush, but... You know, there is a smaller size. I think on lives I use the larger because it's, you know, we can get it done a little quicker. We only have so much time, but you take your time when you're doing this and, you know, use exactly what you have. You know, if you have a set of brushes, the small one works better. You can get right in. Like if you want to do the flowers another color, this is perfect. The smaller one, you can just get it right in that flower. Same with the leaves if you want to do them green. All right, so let's see what it looks like. I'm going to lift it up and show you so that we can decide if we need any more paint on that. But see, that just pretty much, you can see what it is. It looks pretty cool on that color, doesn't it? The white. So I didn't even need that much color on it to make it really pop and really say spring or outdoors, you know, birds. Everybody loves all that. The birds, um, you know, you it's just a, that's it. I think that's great. I'm not going to do any more with it. I'm going to take it off while we're ahead, right? I don't need, uh, that looks like plenty but I kind of like how we left the house a little blue in the middle. So I'm hoping you like that look. All right, now I wanted to do, I wanted to use this birdhouse, but I also wanted to use the um, customizable, they call it, welcome sign. And let's put this, so when you're stenciling for, you know, throughout the day, you want to reuse a brush, just. Wrap it in something damp. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. And we will go ahead and set that one aside. And get, we're going to start using black now. So I'm going to get a fresh side of this. Now, this part of the birdhouse, I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do that. And as I put the welcome on, then I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So let's take our sign and move it down and grab, let's see here, the next set of stencils I'm using and they're all linked above. So if there's something you are looking for, they're right above, and then again, you can use save 10 friends to save 10%. This one, it's called the five foot customizable welcome porch sign. I'll show you what's in it. Um, this one, there's 74 left as of last time I looked, probably last night, um, and they're on sale. So this is a good one to grab now if you didn't get it or if you're new. This is, a, what I really like about this one is I like the size. This is meant for a five foot porch leaner and I'll show you why. Let me just take that right out. Is it's customizable. So you can put established 
on it and it gives you all the numbers. And what's really cool is you can put, where's the fun, here it is. Here is part of, uh, you can customize it by putting the, and then spell out the family name on it. And then it says welcome, and then you could put established on it. So this will really show you how you can do that. So this is great for a lot of things. You can use it not, here's the second set of letters. So aren't these great letters to have too? So I feel like you get a lot out of this set that you can use in so many ways. But today we're just going to use the welcome part and then maybe we'll be putting established on it. But I want to set this out so we have welcome. And again, I'm going to center it between my tape lines. W-E-L C O M E. I'll good when I get down to that part. So they have it all here for you. Obviously, it goes that way. And that took up my four four feet of the board. So I'll show you that and um, slide this down so you can see that I'm gonna have to start up here, and then my welcome will be, slide it down. So I want my E to be right here on the bottom, just before the border. Okay, so I know that that's where I want that one, so I could just tape that down. Then we'll know where to go from there. So I first just get it on, line it up, and keep moving up and down my board. I look to see if the um, they're lined up, again, between the tape. Then you got a nice straight line. So before you start stenciling, this is what you want to do. You want to lay it out and decide how you want that. We know that that's going to go there, and that looks good. And now we know up here how much room we have. So we, I do know, we're going to go up here, and we know this is where we're going to start. I do realize that this is overlapping some of the floral, but that's okay. We're going to use black paint now to actually put the letters on. Grab that package and show you. Thank you, thank you. So you want to look at these because, again, the O and M, easy to turn around, right? And I wasn't really doing that. So the thin part of the M is on the left part. So thank you so much for noticing that. I appreciate it. So I turned it over. So this I want on the left, just like this one. Let's check them all. Welcome, we have the thin on the right. We know that's right. And that's because the E is can only go one way. So the L and C, we don't have to think about because that one's set. The O and the M were the big ones here. Thank you so much for noticing that. And then the E can't go backwards because so that is definitely helpful. Look at the packages. You can even write on the stencils. You know, with a Sharpie, you could write like, um, front here um, so that you know that you want it this way and not that way. Or you could write back on the back. Okay, so that's great. Thank you again for noticing that. I appreciate it so much. So let's line up our first one. Put some tape down. We know that our black could go over. So I always put tape wherever I think it's going to go over the side and it looks like that's the only place I'll have to put tape um, but you could again just to keep it secure right here I'm going to use this time I'll use a three-quarter inch brush these are I love the size of these letters they're kind of not real bold and again for a four foot I think that works good so um Oh good, you guys are, are talking about probably lining up those 
Yeah, this color blue is really nice, isn't it? So let's get some black out. Now I'm saying this is black, but it's actually a really deep gray. It's called Ash. Again, Fusion Mineral Paint. But um, I, it's one of my favorites that I use is black just because it is, uh, looks black, but it's actually a real deep, deep um, gray. And I just love the coverage of it, so. Thank you, Essential Stencil, for putting the customizable vertical welcome limited inventory. Yep. Same with the, the next set I'm going to use. There's, you know, limited inventory. Um, here's my stencil brush. I dip it in my black paint, swirl it in there real good, and then work it into the bristles. And offload on a paper towel at the same time. It just gets it nice and dry. I also go on the edges. And again, I put my brush up and down and just swirl around. And we'll get our W on there and our E. And we'll just work our way down the board. So on the back of this one, um, I created a, a tree with a saying on it yesterday, actually on my page, Flip Flop Furnishings, and we used all Stencil of the Month Club stencils to make a tree. So this one, I'm kind of liking, I may hang this one right in my home. Um, I have a large, you know, a tall wall that I think it would look good on. So, you can do that too. You can hang these in your house or lean them somewhere in your home. I always have one leaning in my foyer because again, people come in. So in that at that entranceway or kitchen entranceway, so they don't just have to be outside. And then when they're two-sided, you have two, you can flip it over. So I can use this one in the, spring or I mean really this could be used anytime I it's not necessarily just spring but you because it doesn't say spring on it that's why I just wanted to say welcome and then the other side is very any time of the year too and it has cardinals on it so if we get a minute I'll show you the back of this too but um then when we're done stenciling I'm gonna show you how I hang them because either at my outside entrances, let's put another coat on there. Uh, go back up to the W. At my outside entrances, um, there's walls that are available and we like to hang ours up against a wall more than leaning because we get so much wind. Otherwise I'm heading outside, bringing them in and out. And so this way, they're stable on the wall. And almost everything I do, I do two-sided because then I can use it for different seasons. So you can swap out, you know, do spring on one side and fall on the other, or you know, Christmas on one side and uh, Easter on the other. Really fun to, to welcome people in style, right, at your home. Yeah, with the price of wood, too, of course you want to use it, right? Definitely. Okay, we've got our welcome. Now, before I move this off, I want to line up my next one. Then I can just take that one off if I'd like. So we have the L and the C. And I'll line them up with this. And... We can just remove this one now. So see how the welcome didn't take away from the, well, maybe you can't see that. It didn't take away at all from this up here. Let me move that. See, you can still see all that. All right, and we're gonna head on down to the L and C. We've got it where it goes. Again, I'm gonna take some tape, put it down here, put 
put it right here. And we will get stenciling the L and C. So stencil of the month club. I keep bringing it up and then get distracted. Uh, doors are open once a month, the 14th of the month, and um, they will open up. And uh, stencil of the month club is a membership group you can join. Um, there's a link above in the description of this video. You can join and get exclusive on-trend um, unique stencils that are delivered right to your home monthly. So if you go to stencilthemonthclub.com, there is an area where you can uh, sign up to be on a wait list, and then it'll give you information about the cost of the club if you sign up. And you can, there's different ways to pay, and if you try it and you don't like it, you can. You don't have to stay in the club. You can cancel your membership anytime. Um, but I think if you haven't, if you're not in the club and you're watching this, just go over and check it out. I think you'll really like it. And I know many people today who are watching live could tell you how um, men, I see many of my fellow Stents of the Month Club people watching live today and they can tell you what a great community it is when you join the club you get invited to a facebook page it's just for stents of the month club members so that's really cool um and again once a month you get some stencils that aren't available through essential stencil they're only available in the club and so go check it out and if you decide to join the sense of the month club just give it a try um, use my discount code so if you're you know, new to joining up to the club you can use still use the code save 10 friends but it'll give you 50% off your first month so you may want to you know good time to give it a try um, and especially once you see what, you know, the stencil of the month club design is, but you can join any month. The welcome letters are four inch. Thank you, essential stencil. I didn't see that question. Um, all right, we want to leave that one on here. I'm taking the tape off, but I want to use this. Let's keep it secure where it is to, again, go ahead and put this one on. And then once we have that, we can take that one off now and go like this. And um, it is nice also that you can skip a month and then pick back up next month. Yes. Because you, what happens is once you join the club, you then get an email sent to you with the reveal of it, and you can decide for that month that you want to opt out. And, you know, you have so many days to opt out of it, and then, you know, you could still get the next month, though. All right, so we've got the M and the E. In the right place here let's use this tape here so again if you want to see just some examples of things I've made from past sense of the month club designs um, I just happened to do a tutorial yesterday and you know I use some some older ones that aren't available anymore but you know many of us have those who have been in the club so I definitely wanted to use them Yeah, also in the Stencil of the Month Club, um, there are ambassadors who go live to show you, give you inspiration of how you can use the um, upcoming stencils that you're getting. Um, soon we'll be revealing the March stencils, like I said, and then 
um, that on Saturdays they have lives with some of these ambassadors and they just added this new ambassador chats so you can get um, some great tips from some of the wonderful ambassadors on you know business things the selling of your signs um, just stenciling in general surfaces all kinds of information so I'm loving that because that really helps people when once you start doing this and you're loving it people are going to want to buy what you make and then you know, you'll get a little help in that area. So that is a great new resource also. Yep, different payment plans I'm seeing. Yeah, and see, um, but once you get that paint, see how far it's went up into the brush? You can pretty much go quite a long ways with that. All right, so we have got our O&M. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Leave it on. I forget every time. And then I'm gonna do my E. And of course, we want to add that set first. And that looks good there, so we can take this off. And now we have our E placed, and it's above the tape, so let's move this down some more. You see the E on there. I'm not putting more paint on my brush, I'm holding this down. So the four foot board, I was able to use a five foot leaner because I'm not using the entire set. But many times you can you can work out whatever it's made for. You can work it out on what size wood you want to use. It's usually not a problem. Um, and again, this one I have still have a lot of space on top where the because I put the birdhouse. So So that, yeah, isn't the ash, the black, nice on this color? I like the white on it. Um, so Cindy Candy is saying, I accidentally stumbled into essential stencil and have been so happy. Best stumble ever. Oh, that's so great to hear. Thanks for sharing that, Kathy. Or, I mean, Candy. <laughs> We're so glad to hear that. Thank you. All right, so there we go. We have welcome on there. And now the spring set. I'm going to pull that out. And I can't wait to show you the border, too. We have to have time to take that tape off, right? But this set is called, um, this is springtime. It's a three-pack. Still available. I think there's... A limited number of these also. Okay, so now I have to find the stencil. Here it is, taped right on the back. All right, the stencil I'm using out of the three pack today, at least one of them, I may be using two of them, is a mess, okay? I have tape all over. I often use this just with the birds part hanging. Isn't that so cute? So the set, though, has Hello Spring, has this one that I'm going to use today, and isn't that cute? I've used this a lot, too. So this would be cute just sitting on the bottom of this one. I like the Hello Spring. I like everything about the set, but this is the one we're going to use first today, and I'll decide if I'm using any more, but this one I really wanted. Um, I made myself a little note, bottom right of the E. So I want this, these birds to be hanging off. I think I want them about right there. Well, if I do the bottom of the E, yeah, there's teeny little lines here. And those lines are like they're on a swing. It's the swing lines. And I just want them hanging off of the E, and I think that it's cool 
you know, it's two lovebirds. And I just thought it was a good addition to this because we have a birdhouse. So that's why we're adding it, right? I thought it would just look kind of cute, give it a little bit of character. Yeah, the ones of the birds, I use these a lot. That's why I have tape all over them because, and still paint on them um, because they're just so cute for a cute little sign with the lovebirds on it. So I'm gonna grab out my white again. I'm gonna grab a clean paper towel. And we are going to go ahead and stencil that. Let's move it so you can see it. Stencil this and a little more paint onto this so you can just see what that looks like. So to hang my vertical signs, I use what's called eye hooks. Okay, I'll show you that as I'm stenciling. And I put these in the sides. I go about three inches down the side of the wood. You know, they're one inch thick, so you have plenty of room. And I start with a hole. I actually hammer this in a little. The wood is so soft. Pine is, anyway. I don't have to use a drill. I hammer them, start them with a little hammer on the pointy end, and then I put these on each side. I have one end to show you. That way you can just connect it with wire and you can hang it both sides. I also do my door hangers that way um, because then you can flip them. So let's see what this looks like with just the one coat. Okay, my can't seem to grip that. So another little trick, just grab a piece of tape to lift it up. Aw, that's so cute. I think that's it. I see this right here. I want a little more paint. That line right there. All right, the little birds on the swing. You can still see the W-E-L. What do you think of that? Isn't that cute? So then I was thinking, um, of course, this heart would be great right there, wouldn't it? But I, I want to do that in the black. So again, let's move this down and get our black brush out. Put our white away. I think I'm gonna skip the window. I don't know why. We'll see. Let's tape that down. I don't know why would I skip the window. What am I thinking, right? Just be a cute little birdhouse. It's like home. This is our home. And I'm gonna get that centered in there. Get my windows there. And I'm not even gonna put any paint on my brush because I feel like there's enough in there to just get it in. Okay, it's even got that shadow there. What that shadow does is it makes it look, um, makes it look 3D. Again, I'm not gonna go all the way in on the windows. I'll just go over a little bit. Just want a soft one coat. And there we go. I love the colors together. It's just simple white, black, and, and I'll pop a color. Isn't that neat? I think I'm done. I was going to maybe put established on here because, again, that, that one set of the welcome one has a beautiful, a beautiful, um, you know, establish, you could put, you could put that here. You could put um, established down on the bottom, on the side here, and the date maybe that you were married. That'd be kind of neat too. Um, you know, what a great gift this would make for someone who is getting married, right? You could um, put it on, put the established right here. Let me grab it and just show you. I, I don't think I'm gonna do it. But if I change my mind, you may see a picture of it on there. Because um, I think, 
Let's see, where is the established? It's in my pile here somewhere. But I think it would look really neat on there. Oh, I think I dropped it on the other side of, oh, here it is. So you could put established and then like I could put 1986 because that was the year I was married. And I think that actually would be really cool. Maybe we should do it, right? Could, do we have time to do this essential stencil? I think, and I and I like the fact of doing it right here. Um, and here's a quick way to line up. Let's grab some more tape. Oh, thank you, guys. We're going to put it. We're going to put the year so I can show you. You can do this. And I'm going to take a piece of tape, put it right here. I'm just picking a place, I'm, and I'm going to put established in white. We're going to use white. We're going to, I know our time is running out, but we got a few minutes, so let's go for it. So then you use this, move this over, your tape out of the way. We have our stencil, we have our offloading, and I can even use the tape to hold it up. And let's put established, we, we got that tape line so we can put it right above the tape line. I'm gonna hold it down. No, I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to taper down. And then I'm going to offload my paint. <laughs> Essential stencil says take your time. I'm like, yeah, another way to use this one. we got to put that on. And eh, that's not offloaded very well. You'll know that, too, when you put it on here. What a great, um, um, what a great gift this would make, right? For a um, couple that's getting married, their little nest and their little lovebirds on it. I think that's great. So we've got the established, and now because we have our tape line, we can put the numbers. Just go right down the number line and make sure this is dry. I'm going to use this because I got a little bit of white paint there and get it off while it's fresh. I don't know if you could see that. I'm sorry about that. And then um, I think we got married in 1986. <laughs> That's a long time ago, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Um, but again, I left a little bit of room, but I have the you know, one. Looks like one coat did that one. My brush has definitely got lots of paint in it. You can dry over your stencil. This is a heat gun, I have it on low. So keep it moving if you use a hair dryer, you're not gonna melt your stencils. But how easy it is to really line these up because you have that piece of tape. You could also draw a pencil line or a chalk line. And when I do individual letters, I like to put them close because when you're reading text anywhere, it's close, right? I don't like to spread them out too far. Yeah, think of all the possibilities. That's exactly what I'm try to try to do, Dominica. <laughs> I hope that's working, that you can use, you know, mix and match those stencils and really, again, putting this on the side is kind of different and cool and you know, you can see through the stencils are amazing. If you're watching, you've never, you know, tried them, I give it a try. All you need are a couple colors of paint. I'm going to recommend you have black and white and grab a color and a stencil set. You know, that spring one is a good starter set. 
this one you could make money with this set here and just start and you'll be surprised at how easy it is they're really durable you wash the stencils and I've reused stencils for years and they are fantastic quality um, so and when I get this one done, you'll see why I put them so close because you want, again, you want it to, you definitely want established, you know, nice and close. That's one already done for you, a nice space, and then the year. All right, so that was easy enough. And you could even uh, put their name on it. You could put, um, you know, the established 1986 the something family uh, you could put it up across the birdhouse there's a lot of different things you can do so let's get this brush covered up so if I'm gonna do any more stenciling I'll bring you up in one second we'll choose some winners but let's take this tape off and let me show you how I put the tape the side hanger on it. I'm going to bring it right here so you can see what a frame does to it too. This is like we need music playing, right? Look at the beautiful frame around it. That looks so... I, I love this look and I often do it. Not always, but I love the frame look. So look at that. Good old frog tape. I'm trying to save some of this tape to reuse, but we'll do the best we can. So, you ready? This is the fun part right here, taking it off. This is a nice line. Two colors of paint to stencil with, and one color for the pop of color. And then you have, look at this. See that screw eye measured down. I'll do the same on the other side. Put the screw eye into the wood. Usually I have bigger ones for these leaners. This is just a four foot though, but when you're using the six foot wood, screw them in. And then I use good quality uh, picture framing wire. And I just go around the board and there it can hang then this way um, let me get my apron is like whoa um and um i had a great time with you guys today congratulations again winners come back and again replay hashtag replay you might be a winner isn't that frame so cool like i love it i wish i could i mean this is as far back as i can go but and then that little bit of establish is just on there um birdhouse again just simple but it's cute and um then on this side again i have this ready to hang piece of wire so i can hang this up this will be great actually in my home because it's got the year we were married and on the back i just love cardinals so we use stencil the month club stencils and we made this yesterday on a live if you want to head over to my page put a message on it and again um just wanted to show uh, yesterday my uh, painting friends how you can use stencil and month club stencils in different ways. So here we go. One more look. Thanks so much for being here today. And thank you uh, for staying on a few minutes, a few minutes later than normal. There. Isn't that cute? And um Essential Sense will be live tomorrow. I think it's at 11 a.m. again. And again, then next week, Monday through Friday. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you on a live, uh, hopefully tomorrow or next week. I'll be here Thursday. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.